all. Which memory do you wish to access today? No problem. Just walk through that door, please. The memory you're seeing right now is from October 4th, 2043. That's 40 years ago from today. It's a lovely day outside. The sun is shining and there are children running in the park. You can hear loud barks from dogs playing with their owners. The leaves on the trees have started falling, golden yellow and crunchy under your feet. You look at your watch. It's three in the afternoon. Your date should be here any minute now. Moments later, you hear the sound of crunched dry leaves coming up behind you. You turn around and there she is, the woman of your dreams. Not that you knew that yet. Today, in the year 2083, she's sitting right next to you on the couch, watching the same fond memory with a smile on her face in the house you've both been living in for years now. Just you two and your dog. Here in 2021, the best you can do when you want to relive old memories is play a video on your phone. You can't literally upload your memories online or even to a hard drive. Sure, you might dream about it or maybe watch a futuristic movie about it. Why would anyone even want to upload their brain? Probably one of the worst feelings there is is forgetting where you put something. Remember that one time when you were watching TV and your remote grew legs and ran off somewhere? It's happened to everyone. Under the couch, in the living room, under the TV. Where on earth is that remote? Here's what happened. You paused your show because you felt hungry. And when you were about to throw the remote on the couch, it dropped from your hand and you accidentally kicked it under the couch. You say, eh, I'll pick it up later. And you go about your life. Kitchen, hungry, sandwich, nice. You end up forgetting all about the remote just five minutes later. When you finally make your way back to the living room, you can't find the remote. Time to get on all fours and start the dreaded search mission. If you could only upload your memory of the past hour to your computer, or say a cloud account, you'd soon find out where that little guy ran off to. But what about going a step further? What if you could upload your memories and every single piece of information that's currently in your brain to a digital format? Forever sounds like a long time. And if your consciousness is uploaded to an immortal device, you might become immortal too. Seasons would go by endlessly and the world would change beyond recognition. A few thousand years from now, reality as we know it might be totally different. I'm talking flying cars, skyscrapers that pierce through the clouds, roads that loop around each other like a scene out of a sci-fi movie. Cities would have to be built underwater because there's no more space on land. Say hello to your neighbor, who is a shark. Being immortal means that you can watch your life go by like it's a TV show, except it never gets canceled. An infinite sitcom, and you're the star cast member forever. But then, would it still be you? Would you be in control of yourself? Or would the computer you got uploaded to dictate who you are? So you'd live forever, but would it be you or a copy of you that didn't know it was a copy? Ideally, you'd still be you, no changes at all, and you'd still control your own thoughts. The only thing that would change is that instead of living in an organism made out of skin and organs and stuff, you'd be living inside a network or a single hard drive. Does that make you artificial intelligence? Or are you still a living organism? It probably depends on if you get your actual brain somehow transplanted into a robot or if your thoughts get downloaded onto a huge flash drive. We might all live together on a new planet called the internet, where virtual reality is reality. What would that look like? Days and nights would be a thing of the past. You spend every moment awake and active too. Since you don't have a body, there's no need to rest. Time is pretty much pointless. The internet's probably changed almost every second of your life. Now everything is touch, click, done. That's because technology has evolved and pushed itself more than we could have ever imagined. So maybe uploading our literal selves to a computer or the internet is not such a crazy futuristic idea. Scientists are looking at ways to do this right now. Loads of different worlds could be created for your pleasure if you ever get uploaded. If you like space and you've always dreamed about taking a spaceship to explore a new planet, you could. It would be just like those VR boots, but with no headset. 
Since your consciousness would already be there, all you'd need to do is walk through one of those thousands of doors, and off you go on your new adventure. You open the door, and a bright light shoots out, so bright it blinds you. As soon as you're able to open your eyes again, there you are, in your new world. You're riding a spaceship to Jupiter, a spaceship filled with everything you've ever needed and desired. You've got a sweet tooth, so of course there's a cabinet filled with every possible candy imaginable. It seems like it goes on forever. Whatever you're in the mood for, just grab it and keep going back for more. There aren't cavities to worry about when you're totally digital. Everything else you need, right there. A pool? <laughs> you got it. Your favorite restaurant? There it is. You want to invite your buddy to tag along? No worries. Send them an evite, and they'll walk through the same door as you. Through the vast magnitude of space you go in your enormous spaceship, with your buddy standing right next to you. If you're more into fantasy, and you want to go to a land full of elves, well, that's also possible. It'd be like a video game filled with NPCs. But these guys won't just spit out a couple of pre-planned lines. They'll be fully equipped with the latest AI that's even capable of emotions. Imagine a vast land filled with elves and a whole bunch of other creatures. Picture minotaurs, people with cat ears and tails, even reptile people. Absolutely anything is possible. This land is in need of a hero, and you, who dropped out of nowhere, have come to save it. You're given superpowers based on your personality. If you love to swim, in this world, you can control water and make waves at will. So you can surf wherever you want to go. Love planes? Now you can fly. Love burgers? Yeah, I got nothing. You start in beginner town, just like in every other fantasy RPG. And you get stronger as you go. At first, you can only throw a few jets of water. But as you set off on your adventure and get more practice, the sky's the limit. By the end of it, you'll be able to make entire rivers out of nothing and throw them around in any direction you want. If instead of action, you're just trying to relax, how about an island just for yourself? Your own little Bahama getaway. There's a little tablet that allows you to control everything. Did you suddenly start missing the winter holiday season? Ah, that's okay. Just a few taps and seconds later, and there you go. Snow, decorations, holiday music, and best of all, no shoveling the driveway. How about a house in a volcano crater? Eh, don't worry, you can control the temperature, so the lava wouldn't be that hot. Your little wooden cabin right in the middle of the volcano is perfectly safe. You can have it float on the liquid hot magma, or levitate above it, whatever you want. The lava could act just like water, so it'd even be safe to dive in for a swim. Just switch on your imagination, pick a door, and have fun.